Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Audrey. And today I have for y'all another Ritera haul. So a huge thank you to Ritera for sending all these pieces to me. I did pick them all out, but they did provide them for this video. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. <music> can see I'm in our bedroom because the living room is full of boxes. If y'all didn't see my last video or my community post, we are moving. So we have about three weeks to get everything completely done and out and moved. Um, we are moving up to the mountains in North Carolina and so a lot of changes happening, a lot of stuff all over the place. <laughs> so the next few videos y'all are going to see from me are probably going to be in different spots just so that I have the right lighting and space with everything kind of getting boxed up and put away. So like I said, I have a Ratera haul for y'all again. And the great thing is a lot of their pieces are mix and match. You can put them with this and a skirt and pants and so many options for these. So I'm going to show you all a few different options for some of these pieces, but they're really good on their own too. So we're going to go ahead and jump in, but please make sure you look in the description box below. Just hit more under the title of this video. They are doing a giveaway, so all the rules and instructions and everything for that are there. That's strictly from Ritera, but I wanted y'all to be a part of that if you want to be. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the first few pieces. So I'm going to scoot over here because on this side will be all the pictures, the try-on, all of that stuff. We'll be playing right over here while we talk about the pieces. I'm sorry, I don't know if the sound and everything is going to be as good in here. It's kind of echoing a little bit, but I hope y'all bear with me while we're transitioning to a new place. So the first two pieces of this haul are basically the exact same. They're two little baby doll tops, but the first one that we're going to look at is this black floral. Now in this slide it looks almost purplish but this is the black floral and I'm going to show you the pattern up close. So like I said in this lighting it does look more purple but it's black. So you do have the bright pink and blue and gold flowers in this one. Now for this one I went with the extra large and the material is, it's pretty stretchy too. I do show that in the trial part if we're there yet. And this one is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So very, very stretchy. The only call out that I would say on this, if you, it, this, the extra large fit really good, but when you do pull it, you can kind of see it gets a little bit lighter. That's because it's white on the inside. So if you are a little bit bustier, you may want to go up a size. Just follow the bust measurements for your, compare them to yours because as you pull this, it does get lighter in certain spots and you don't want it to be pulling right here and just kind of look a little different or faded. You just don't want that. But this is the softest material. I have quite a few tops from my Terra in this exact same fabric and I love it. It washes well. I usually just hang it up to dry and it's dry in no time at all. But it is very cute. You do have non-functioning buttons right here. It is more of a baby doll type, but also a peplum kind of mixed in there too. So it is a little fitted in the waist because of that elastic but it's not anything too tight and another thing that I love about this top is that it is a longer length so it's more of a tunic length so if you like that you are gonna love the be worn with skinny jeans or even leggings because they are longer so if you like leggings throw them on and see how it looks with that but I love this top it is just adorable and the print the flowers beautiful and the next one that is basically the exact same is this solid black. So the same styling and everything is the one that you just saw, but love this solid black. It goes with anything. So again, I went with the extra large in this one. So one main difference in the material in these two, um, I'm going to tell you this one. It is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. But for them to be the exact same fabric makeup, it, this one has a little bit more of that silky feel to it. I'm going to show you. You can kind of see a sheen in this one where the black feels more like a cotton blend. I don't know if you can, you see the difference, the sheen in this one right here. And it, it feels different too. So the black one does feel a lot more like cotton against your skin and just the to touch, it's very, very soft. The other one is too, but it does have that little bit of that slickness to it. 
So again, 95 polyester, 5 spandex. You have the faux buttons right here at the bust, that more of an empire type waist with the elastic, and both of these tops are long sleeve. Very stretchy again, very, very soft. The black one, I think out of the two, is my favorite just because of the feel of it. It's so soft against your skin where the other one is just a little bit slick, like I said. So this one I also paired with these flare jeans. You're gonna see these a lot in this haul just because I've packed up so much of my stuff. So I'm kind of limited to what I have available to me. Um, all my belts, everything, I don't know what I was thinking, I packed them all up, so. <laughs> So, you know, it's just one of those things when you're in the middle of packing your whole life up. So, but I love these, loved it with the flare jeans. But again, you can always put this tunic length with, and I mean, it's almost the length of a lot of dresses, like mini dresses. But you can always wear leggings with this, jeggings, flare jeans, skinny jeans, whatever you want to. You will love this, especially the black. And now the next piece in this haul, I normally don't hang up my sweaters because I don't want to get those little dips right here in the shoulder. So I will be taking this down and folding it as soon as we're done looking at it. But it's easier for me to show it to you on a hanger. So this one is the more coffee brown or terracotta type brown sweater. And for this one, I went with the extra large and it is 52% acrylic, 28% nylon and 20% polyester. So I'm gonna tell y'all the thing about this one is very staticky. It's, it's on my hair, the minute I took it off, it just lifted up, <laughs> but it's really soft. It's not that kind of scratchy material that most acrylics are. So very comfortable, but it is thick. I can feel the static around it. Like right here on my arm, you can just feel it kind of pulling your little arm hairs, but it's very, very nice, thick sweater. And the good thing is where we're moving, I'm gonna need these pieces where up until now, I haven't needed a lot of cold weather clothing, so now I do. But you have this really pretty zipper with the little round hook here, and the zipper is silver. I did have on gold. I have this gold jewelry and stuff on, so I know that it may clash a little bit, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. But very smooth zipper on this one. You can leave it open if you want, zip it up if you want. It's more of a drop shoulder and very stretchy. This one grows a lot, and it's very long, so I did kind of mushroom it up a little bit just so it wasn't as long on me and then you get kind of like that little roll right here of material but it's so warm and very very soft and cozy but just keep in mind there's a lot of static in this i did run a dryer sheet along it i steamed it and it's still staticky so <laughs> so just keep that in mind but very nice more of a rib knit sweater and it's very heavy so Nice piece to have, but I would say if you're on the fence with sizing, don't size up because this one is a little more oversized, as you can see for an extra large. I mean that that's a pretty big that's a pretty big extra large. So definitely I would say size down unless you just like your sweaters to be oversized. But very, very nice, very warm and comfy. And now the next piece in this haul, I have this navy blue red and hunter green plaid shirt so it is just your basic button front shirt it's not flannel but it does have that look to it so for this one i went with the 2xl because i like y'all know i like to tie my button up sometimes i like to wear them open i like to have room in these types of shirts especially plaids and flannels just because sometimes you're layering with them or you're doing different stuff rolling up the sleeves. So it's nice to have a little bit more room in these. So the 2XL was the perfect fit for what I wanted it for, but you could always go with the extra large if you're my measurements close to mine. And my measurements are in the description box below. I do update those pretty regularly because I am still losing a little bit of weight. Not as much as I did at the beginning, but I'm, I'm pretty happy where I am right now. So I'm just kind of maintaining where I am. Um, but I do update those regularly, so if you're close to my measurements and you want a little bit more of a closer fit, you could do the extra large in this one. But if you want a little bit more wiggle room, I would do the 2XL. So the material in this one is 50% cotton, 50% polyester. So really no stretch in this one at all, and that's another factor with this type of material. You need to take those measurements pretty seriously because there's not a lot of movement in this. But if you are just planning on keeping it open, 
you'll be fine. And the arms in this are perfect. They're not tight at all because I do carry weight in my upper arms. As y'all can see, if y'all have lost weight, you, you understand what I mean. You end up with like this gets a little bit loose and this. So I do have that here. <laughs> so my upper arms, I've always had bigger upper arms. And so the arm measurements are huge for me. That's why I pointed out to y'all so much. So this one, perfect for that. So love, love, love this. Now I do show this, and it is pretty long too. I'll show you the full length of it. And I do show it to you in the try on part two. We're probably already there now. I'm just rambling. But I do show this to y'all open front with a little black bodysuit underneath. I show it to you tied with the same bodysuit and these jeans. And then I was looking on Pinterest and I saw a shirt exactly like this one and a girl had a pencil skirt on with it. And I would have never thought to do that. So I tried that on for size just to see what I thought and it was really pretty. It did kind of billow out a little bit right under here because it was tucked into that tight pencil skirt. But I actually did like it styled that way because I had on a black pencil skirt from Grace Karen. I will link that below if it's still available. It's beautiful and very stretchy. Um, and black tights. Those will be linked down below too. I get those from Amazon. Y'all are always asking me about tights and you will see the brown pair of those. I've never had brown tights before and now I have them, but I got the black and the brown two-piece set from Amazon. That will be linked down below and they're amazing. Um, and some black little wedge booties that I got some time ago, I believe from Shein. If they're still available, I will link them, but I doubt they are because it's been a couple of years since I bought those. But really, any kind of shoes would work with this. But, but I really, really liked it with that pencil skirt. It's just a whole different look that I never thought I would have done. And you could also do a fit and flare skirt or a circle skirt with this tucked in or tied at the waist. That would be really pretty too. But my black skirt, that would go with that is in a box somewhere in the living room. <laughs> so I have no idea where that one is exactly, but it's in one of those boxes. But I love having pieces that you can mix and match. You could pair, you could put a sweater over this, anything that you can think of. It's really good to have those layering pieces, especially when you're going into the winter season. And now for the next piece in this haul, I have this adorable little top. It's not really a sweater. It feels more like a thicker tee material or a thin sweatshirt material, <laughs> if that helps anything. So here it is. I just love the little button detail, and then you've got a little bit of that puff on the sleeve right here. I wish I had, they had more colors in this one because I just love this. So I went with the extra large in this one, and it fit beautifully, but if you want an oversized fit, this one is not oversized, so you may have to go up a size if you're close to mine. So, but I like the, the more fitted look of it because I have a skirt back here that I wanted to tuck this into. So I didn't want too much material to have to deal with. So for this one, again, an extra large, it is 20% rayon, 75% polyester, and 5% spandex. So again, love this. You do have a little bit of details that's kind of like a sweatshirt, like the cuff on the sleeve looks a lot like a sweatshirt. You've got three little faux buttons right here on each shoulder. I love shoulder accents. Any kind of little bow or button on your shoulders right here, I just think is so pretty. Even though a lot of time with my hair you can't see it, but I know it's there. And you've got that crew neck here. So it does have a little bit of a shirt tail type hem at the bottom, and I think this is adorable. And again, with it being a little bit more fitted, I was able to pair it with a skirt and not have to worry about it coming out. But love this little top. It's very, very soft, very comfortable. The only thing that I did notice is that the sleeve is just a hair shorter than I would expect, or than what's typical in tops. It just kind of hit like right here, right here above my wrist bone. I don't know. So it was, I was very aware of the length of the sleeve in this one and I normally am not. So I think the sleeves are just a little bit short, but not, not anything major, but I did notice it right here. Kind of like it's a little bit short, but very, very pretty and comfortable. But I'm going to show you the skirt that I paired with it. Now I have another skirt behind me. It's we're going to talk about it in a minute. Now on the Ritera site, they actually had this green shirt with that skirt but when I got the skirt it's actually baby like a light blue and brown plaid so it didn't have any green in it so I, I, it just didn't look right to me in person online it was adorable but in person there was no green in the skirt to pull from the top so I just 
yeah, I just I opted to go with this one. Even though this green is very different than the one in the skirt, it didn't clash with it at all, in my opinion. I really liked it with this skirt because it just fit it just fit beautifully. And then the little puff and the details on the shoulders, it just all worked. So we're gonna talk about this skirt that I paired with that. I do show this also with a navy blue shirt, and that one is from Shein. I will link it below if it's available. I have every color in that top, but I wanted something to just show y'all different options with this skirt because this is probably one of my favorite pieces of this haul because it's just beautifully made and so, so comfortable. And it has pockets. It has pockets. So for this one, I went with the extra large and it is 100% polyester. Oh, a lot of material. <laughs> and I love the waistband. So you have this thick band of elastic here and it's completely sewn through so it's not going to roll around on your twist up. You've got double rows of, of threading in here so it holds everything in its place. Very, very stretchy waistband and you also have a drawstring. This is a functioning drawstring so you can pull it as tight as you need it to be or give yourself a little bit of room. You also have pockets in this one and it is just beautiful. It feels like a flannel shirt and it's amazing. So it is a heavier material and it just holds its shape but it still flows with your body. It doesn't fight against you. It's just beautiful y'all. So I do show this one with that green top tucked in and then with a navy blue and I had on those black booties and black tights with this. You could also do the, I mean even with, I have on a black bodysuit with these jeans but that would work with this too. You could do a black cardigan. You could layer with this however you want to. You can make it vintage. You can make it cottage core, whatever you want to call it. You could do so much with this. I highly, highly, highly recommend this skirt to everyone. It's beautiful, it's comfortable, and it goes with literally anything and everything. So highly recommend this. It is gorgeous and I need to get me some like calf boots, calf length boots. I think that would be really pretty with this. Um, gorgeous. Love it. And now for the last piece in this Raterra haul is that brown and blue plaid skirt that I was talking about earlier. There is the print. It is so pretty y'all. So for this one I went with the extra large again and it's 50% cotton, 50% polyester. So again, this one does feel a lot like a flannel shirt, just like the navy blue and green plaid you just saw, but it's not as thick. This one is not as heavy of a material, but it is so beautiful. Now you do have elastic in the back of this. So it's flat in the front and you have a invisible zipper right here on the right side. The navy one had no zippers. You just pull it right on. I like to pull it over my head, especially if I have something tucked into it. Um, but you do have elastic in the back. It is sewn through so it's not going to roll around on you. And I love this one. It's not as flowy as the navy blue, but it's so pretty. I did pair this one with a toffee or camel colored mock neck top that I got from Shein. It'll be linked down below. It was in my last Shein haul because I thought it would pull the colors from this one so well. I think this is beautiful and you know just looking at it here it would be really pretty with a denim shirt tucked in too. Y'all know I love my denim shirts. I love them. But this would be really pretty with a denim shirt. But I was so happy to put this look together because I pulled out my little brown Oxfords. I love Oxford heels and I have a few pairs of them. Um, I got these. I believe the ones I show on this in this haul are from Shein too. They are not available anymore. I searched and they are not there anymore. But, you know, you can always find them on Amazon and different sites like that. But I love Oxford heels. I think they're beautiful and they're so comfortable. They're always so comfortable. And I paired it with those brown tights. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever owned a pair of brown tights and I am in love. It's, it's, I don't know why I've not had colored tights before. I've always just had black. But they are so pretty with this overall look. I think this is gorgeous and you will be seeing this skirt again because it's just beautiful. Love plaid. I love my flowy big skirts, my poofy skirts, and they're just beautiful. This is going to be worn a whole lot, so you will be seeing this more throughout the season.
So y'all, thank y'all so much for your patience and y'all have been so encouraging about this move. Um, I've mentioned on here so many times, I'm not a beach person. I have been wanting us to get closer to either Tennessee or you know, Gatlinburg or Asheville, or North Carolina, like anywhere up that way, that's where we've both kind of been wanting to go. But you know, things just take time and this kind of just fell in our lap, this opportunity. And you know, y'all know that I am, I work at Sephora. I have been with Sephora a total of about 12 years. Um, and so it is bittersweet because I'm closing that chapter of my life and the chapter of living in Myrtle Beach. I've been here for almost 20 years. And so, but it's just such a great opportunity to be able to focus on my channel and do all the things that I've been wanting to do. I just didn't have time because of work. Just being honest, life, work, bills, you know, all that. So it is a little bit scary <laughs> and nerve wracking and everything's all over the place and it has affected how much I've, I've brought y'all on my channel, but it here pretty soon everything will level out. We're going to get into you know, a whole new season. The Christmas season is right around the corner and this will be the first year that I'm going to be able to do Vlogmas. So, never done it before, so we will see what happens. But y'all, I just wanted to tell you thank you so, so much for your patience with me and sticking it out with me while I go through this transition. And I am absolutely going to be bringing y'all along for the whole process. So, I only have a few more days left of work and I will be closing that part out and then it's going to be moving. <laughs> so, so I'm so ready and I'm so excited and I cannot wait to see what this next adventure brings us. So y'all thank you so so much for being here and spending your time with me and I appreciate every single one of y'all and thank you so much for liking and sharing my channel and I cannot wait. It's just going to be so much fun getting to see y'all a little more. So y'all thank you so much and until next time y'all take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I We'll see you soon.